Welcome back. You're watching RT International. Now, the European parliamentary election has highlighted a widening gap between Madrid and Catalonia. More than 55% of Catalans voted for parties calling for a referendum on independence from Spain. RT Zagor Piskunov investigates the growing mood of separatism in the region. They want their voices to be heard. Different opinions is what democracy is all about, isn't it? Catalonia is not like Spain, and we must be allowed to vote. It's the job of politicians to know what people think. Perhaps not all politicians in Madrid would agree. A referendum to decide whether Catalonia wants to separate from Spain was banned by the country's parliament. Despite opinion polls suggesting up to 80 percent of locals wanted it to be held. Catalan process for independence is uh, absolutely democratic and absolutely res uh, uh, with absolute respect to the no violence practice. And I think it's our our power is the the democracy. With a population of around seven and a half million people, Catalonia makes up around one sixth of the entire population of Spain and could easily be called one of its richest regions. Its GDP isn't only higher than the average in Spain, but the entire European Union's average as well. Barcelona's port is one of the largest in Spain when it comes to cargo and one of the biggest in Europe for tourists. Having around 32,000 people go through it in just one weekend is a normal thing here. It also deals with uh, petrol and gas products and it's so large it's like a city within a city which annually floats billions into the Spanish state budget. Tourism, along with car, chemical and food production, are all bringing in some heavy cash. However, those against independence have a different view of why Catalonia is so well off. For decades and decades, Catalonia has been providing manufacturing and industrial goods and commodities to the rest of Spain in a very highly protected market. But those in support of independence claim it would only make things better. When um, Norway won its independence from the Kingdom of Sweden, uh, trade actually increased. In uh, many Central European and Eastern European uh, uh, processes of independence, which we have experienced in the last few decades, uh, the same has been the case. Economies have improved, they have expanded, and trade between partners and neighbors has actually improved. Perhaps an independent Catalonia or not is a different story, which has to be decided by the people. Should they be allowed to vote is what really matters right now. After all, isn't democracy what Europe is all about? Igor Piskunov, RT, Barcelona. And uh, here you can see pictures of one of the biggest protests for Catalonian independence in recent years. In 2012, a million and a half people took to the streets of Barcelona to demand separation from Spain. But Madrid has its own view on the matter. Well, it has repeatedly struck down Catalonians' calls for independence. And in uh, 2010, Spain's top court ruled that there was no legal basis for Catalonia to be recognized as a nation within Spain. Now, two years later, Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy rejected the region's calls for more fiscal independence from Madrid. And uh, this March, the country's constitutional court rebuffed a declaration of sovereignty passed by the Catalan parliament. And later, the Spanish parliament rejected Catalonia's request for a referendum on independence. Modern history professor Paolo Bernardini says Catalonia has a clear right to vote its will. The right of self-determination is a sacred right has been ratified by the UN declaration, and um, nobody can go legally against the right of self-determination. There is a, an overwhelming majority of Catalan people in favor of independence. They have uh, a lot of distinct features uh, which separate them from the rest of Spain, including language, tradition, history, and there is a strong support for separatism, also on economic grounds. Every time the European Union or Spain all together say you are not to the Catalan people, you are not entitled to uh, a free choice, they act in a very undemocratic way and they demonstrate to the world that they don't belong to a democratic union. They are not a part of a democratic world. And in other news from Spain, King Juan Carlos has decided to abdicate after almost 40 years on the throne. 
His son, Crown Prince Felipe, is to become the new monarch. According to Spain's prime minister, the king is stepping down, mainly for health reasons. Let's now take a look at other stories.